Hello everyone, Siri Emerald here. Just a short video to share news about the official Marvel's Avengers Age of Ultron exhibition Hot Toys Asia Tour at its first stop in Hong Kong at Hai San Place and Lee Theatre. These are images from that exhibition which you can find on the Hot Toys website at www.hottoys.com.hk. Click the link below. The tour around Asia will bring a number of Avengers Age of Ultron collectible figures. Some of the coolest things at this event are the life-size statues, especially those of the Hulk and Hulkbuster placed outside the entrance of Hisan Place engaged in battle, and the life-size Hulkbuster outside the theater, plus the life-size Hulk, Mark 43, and Ultron Prime at the atrium of Hisan Place. I like also the 1-6 scale diorama featuring the showdown between the Hulkbuster and the Hulk. This exhibit will be traveling to other locations in the coming month as listed here. Shown also at the exhibit are the quarter scale Mark 43, Artist Mix series, and Cos Baby collectibles. There is a neat holographic showcase at the event as well which features a 1-6 scale Iron Legion figure depicting the Age of Ultron is coming. Hot Toys has opened a pop-up store during the exhibition period for visitors to get the chance to purchase Hot Toys collectibles on the spot. But my interest is the reveal of the 1-6 scale Iron Legion seen here, the Ultron Mark 1, the Ultron Sentry, the Mark 7 Stealth Mode version, and the screen armor War Machine Mark II from Avengers Age of Ultron. The War Machine Mark II armor has my attention the most. Its original release had the fault of not being a screen scene armor, but now that will no longer be the case. There have been some changes to the Avengers Age of Ultron War Machine Mark II. First I noticed that the red trim is missing from around the arc reactor in the eyes. Also, the shoulder marking is different, but then I noticed that the color is different as well. This color is like the Secret Project Gunmetal Metallic version Mark IV. The War Machine Mark 2.0 is a dark gray with light gray dull finish, while this one is not. So yes, I can hardly wait for these to be available for purchase, and I will keep you informed when it be information becomes available. I only hope that we are not teased with awesome figures and are forced to sit and wonder when they will ever be released. Iron Man, gotta catch them all. Thanks for watching, everyone. Tell me what you think in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and click on the links below. Happy collecting.